In this video, we will concentrate on high humidity applications. Here I have Indico 520 transmitter and HMP7 humidity and temperature probe. And this HMP7 is designed especially for high humidity applications. It has an internal heating element inside the probe head and this can be used to prevent condensation. Indigo 520 supports two probes and uh, we will use this functionality. But at the moment you can see that uh, this uh, other probe cable is not connected. But we will come to that a little bit later. Let's first activate the heating functionality of this uh, HMP7 probe. Condensation prevention can be activated by default by making the correct configuration in the ordering phase. The other option is to use a USB cable and a computer. So let's take this M12 connector off and uh, connect the USB cable to the probe. And the inside PC software detects the probe automatically and we can see the measurement readings. What we want to do is to activate the condensation prevention and this can be found from the configure device menu and it's here. And let's save that. We are done. It's uh, worth to mention that uh, we will have warning here telling that supply voltage is too low for probe heating and that's because we use a USB cable here which is not able to provide enough voltage for this functionality but let's fix that by putting the uh, probe back into Indico 520. Now that I have activated condensation prevention we can see that we are no longer seeing the relative humidity value or temperature value and the reason is that this uh, sensor is now in elevated temperature and it's no longer able to measure a representative temperature value from this uh, surrounding environment however dew point temperature is still there in the display and this is because dew point temperature is not uh, temperature dependent meaning that uh, even if it's in elevated temperature it can be still measured accurately if this dew point temperature is what you want to measure this setup is completely fine but now if you need also a relative humidity or some other humidity parameter that uh, needs uh, the ambient temperature. We can use this uh, functionality of uh, two probe support that this Indigo 520 has. And for that I have TMP1 temperature probe. And let's uh, connect that temperature probe to the uh, transmitter. Like that. And now we have also a temperature reading which is coming from the probe number two. To be able to calculate relative humidity based on the humidity level seen by the, this humidity probe and uh, the temperature of the ambient, we have to activate the compensation. Compensation can be found from the menu and uh, transmitter settings and compensation and uh, now it's activated and uh, we can see that uh, the compensation calculation started and relative humidity reading is on the display now we have activated the condensation prevention and made all the uh, software adjustments for the indigo 520 transmitter to calculate the relative humidity. Uh, the next thing is to consider 
the uh, mechanical assembly. And now the idea is to get this uh, temperature probe in a representative position and also this uh, humidity probe close by, not uh, too close that uh, it would affect on the ambient temperature reading. And uh, there are different ways to solve this uh, mounting, but uh, in this video I will demonstrate how to use HMT330 WPA uh, warmth probe accessory set. The idea of this accessory is that uh, the humidity probe is on top and uh, the temperature probe is uh, below it. So let's start. Okay, assembly is now ready and uh, now the last thing is to take care that we have uh, proper insulation if our process is uh, hot so that uh, there is no temperature leak when we put this assembly in our process. Thanks for watching.